Welcome to the Android channel. Today I want to show you how to actually uh, get back space on your Android device. One of the biggest problems with Android devices, especially you know the basic Android devices that you might buy, your phones or anything, is the fact that you've run out of space at some point and you wonder why, um, especially if you you know interact a lot, you have apps, you have games, and um, as you move on, you notice that maybe, you know, slowly everything is filling up and you're not wondering why. Well, go to your settings, which is that little pinwheel. If you don't uh, see that pinwheel, go into the uh, little dots where you'll see that um, there's all apps and there you'll have also the settings. Your settings can also show up as a, uh, a control panel that is different different than this little pinwheel here. It could be a uh, little square with like controls on it. So just uh, check either parameters or settings. Once you're there, you'll see that there's something that you can check for that is, uh, you know, the storage. Click on storage and look at the space you have left on your different options. For example, there's internal storage and there's uh, the SD card storage or the uh, flash storage. Here I've ha I have two gigabytes in the NAND flash, well, 1.65 available. And uh, here I have left 886. And there's the uh, space in the internal storage. And this is often where you, you know, have a lot of problems, the internal storage. So one of the things that you need to know is first of all, how to go two different folders. You have an app here, for example, mine is Explorer, but you have an app that when you click on it, it will give you access to all the folders on your computer or your uh, Android device or your phone. Click internal flash and check these folders. One of the folders that's often full of a lot of stuff that you don't need is downloads. Make sure that when you click downloads, you have nothing in here. Because if you download, um, you know, different um, files, pictures, and stuff like that, they often get into the download section. And the problem with the download section is as it fills up, it fills up your internal memory, which is always a problem. So depending, check your different folders. Um, make sure that you don't erase important stuff. That's very important, though. And every time you check a folder, you'll see the different options show up. Now, if you want to remove something, all you have to do is uh, touch or click and hold until you see the menu, which will be copy, delete, move, or so on. You can delete if you want. And if you delete, it removes it from your device. Now, make sure that everywhere you go, you check for this because there's a lot of stuff that's in cache or in files. So one of the things that you can check for, of course, is in Android um, for data and check that your different apps, maybe you use apps or don't use some of the apps, make sure that you remove whatever is not needed anymore. Uh, I, that's very important. If you tend to try to remove something that's important, it's going to let you know and you always have the option of, you know. But be careful where you, you know, take off um, everything. So check for downloads. Check DCIM, which is the pictures folder. So if you take pictures with your phone, maybe that would be a place where some there's a lot of pictures, a lot of stuff that's taking space. Movies, of course, will be another spot you'll check. And pictures. This is another spot that you'll check to make sure that, you know, everything as best as you can, you have, um, you know, everything removed. So by moving that, you'll see the different options. Also, uh, if you have an SD card, you can check SD card, USB, SATA. You can also slide options. So if you have an SD card and you want to move something, example, let's say you have pictures. You can actually take it and move it to SD card. So for example, if I would like to move pictures that are in here, I would click old and 
click move there it's going to ask me where I want to move it to so all you have to do is go in your different folders for that so make sure that you remove things that are unnecessary and this option be careful not to remove everything as you might lose stuff but at least um, you can check for anything that might be still there you see here for example the video cache which is uh, all sorts of little videos that add up from time to time they take a little space you know you can remove what you don't need anymore to make sure that um, everything's gone from the internal storage and as you uh, you know delete stuff like that with the file explorer of your uh, Android device you'll notice that when you go back into your settings and go back into the storage you'll have more space available as time goes by as you've seen I've removed a few things I had a 411 I believe available now I'm at 416 so uh, you know I did get a little more um, you can check also apps there's a lot of apps in the internal storage that take space so here it says that apps use space so here you can check which app used the most space. For example, in my internal storage, it seems that Angry Birds uses some space. Now, of all the space that takes an app, remember one thing is that it's not all that that takes space. For example, here in the Angry Birds, I've moved it to the SD card or the external storage, the NAND flash storage. But you see that it has a total of 81 megabyte, but it has an app uh, size of 13.63. The data is actually taking a lot of space. If you clear data, you will, of course, get more space. But be careful when you do things like that, because by clearing data, you sometimes clear all the information. So, for example, in a game, if you made several levels and you clear data and you click OK, What's going to happen here? Yep, the app space takes a lot less space. But when you're going to go back and play, you might need to actually go back and play starting at, you know, level 1. But you were at level 15. So you have to be careful how you do it. But of course, if you have to, if you're really, really struggling for space on your device, then you will need to actually check that and make sure that um, you clear all this the, the cache information that you might uh, be able to get. Uh, some apps have something called Manage Space where when you click it's going to tell you all the details of the play services and the data and the stuff, anything, every app. So if you clear for example all data here uh, it's going to, it says here the apps data will be uh, deleted permanently. This includes files, settings, accounts, database. So make sure that you choose correctly before clearing data from different apps. Not all apps you want to clean, but some apps you will want to. So hopefully this helps in um, actually, you know, making your um, device a little more usable and uh, with a little more space go through your different apps uh, you know leave the ones you use the most alone that would probably be the best because these will um, you know erase all your favorite data from that app but if you do have apps that um, you know you don't use or never use why not clear the data, clear the cache, clear all the information that's from that app and get that, uh, you know, storage back for your own usage instead of uh, always, you know, struggling for space. So if you have a really the basic devices, it's easy to run out of internal storage uh, and also of, uh, you know, all sorts of storage space on the NAND flash and so on. So check that, go around your different apps, go around your different folders with the file explorer, remove what you don't need anymore 
And uh, one thing at least is if all fails, if you removed or did really something bad, then why not? You can go back to the backup and reset and, you know, click factory data reset on the device. It erases everything and it will, of course, help you restart new, brand new, if you really don't have any space anymore. So I hope this helps in getting a better usage of your Android device. If you enjoy our videos, when I subscribe to our channel, you'll be in the form of new videos online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have a, a feature, an app, something you want to know about Android, let us know. We'll try to post that video online. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.